Hey guys, today I have a new series I'm starting right now, so stay tuned! Hey guys, welcome back to another video today on the channel. Today we're going to be doing a brand new series called creating your own server with Artinos. Now, this is going to be a series throughout the entire week, okay? The, the, the entire week, okay? I don't know how long this series will go. But anyway, I'm going to show you a step-by-step and by step instructions of how to create your very own server with this website. Um, tell me down below in the comments how you pronounce it. I would rather do Artinos. Or whatever like that so uh, before we get started make sure you leave a like and also uh, leave a comment down below um, what um, what kind of step you want to do next time I might do um, a whole bunch of stuff so let's get started so first before you sign in um, before you do all this you're going to see this on screen boom you're gonna see that so you're gonna type that into like like you're gonna type it in um, you're gonna type in uh, www. Um, artinos is how you spell it. Dot org, okay? Or you could just go to Google and go like Artinos, and it'll it'll pop up this uh, first one on top. And then you're gonna be grant once you click that, you'll be granted with this page. So you can see there's language. So if you're like uh, uh, Spanish or something like that, you can just click that, and then it'll be Artinos a logo at the left corner. And there's going to be uh, this thing saying Minecraft servers free forever. And then there's what fa facts features team. Now, uh, all of these, I, I, I don't want to mess around with them. But if you really want to get started, you can actually sc scroll down and see what there is down there. But I'm not going to show you. If you want to do this, you're going to push play. And as you can see, I already have my uh, login features there. So once you do that, you're going to type in your email and your username. Now, it doesn't have to be your Minecraft username. You can do a, 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 like a random one. So for starters, um, hold up, guys. I'm going to type in my email address and I'll be right back. All right. So, guys, um, as you can see, I type in my email address and my password. Now, you have to do... Uh, a different uh, email every single time if you want multiple accounts so what you're gonna so once you do that you're going to click the thing that says I am not a robot otherwise it's not gonna work and then you're gonna push sign up now once you're once you uh, click sign up you're gonna grant it with this page this is the latest version you're gonna see all these at the top you're gonna see uh, oh never mind about that um, you're gonna do home there's gonna be forms so if like anyone's tr if there's something wrong with the server you can just uh, report it and you can do my server which will click to your server this will be my website it's not really a website it's just uh an artinos website that says you like your offline and whatnot and as you get to you can grant you'll be granted this page now don't worry about these things these are ads so I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest that you click on one of those if it, if you do you're gonna have some trouble because some of these ads will be uh, a virus so make sure you be aware of that and as you can see I do gaming legend so it doesn't matter of the uh, email it, I mean it doesn't matter of the uh, username or uh, password it matters of the email so you got to do every you got to remember an email that you have that you remember it has to be an existing one and if it says you are if it, this email already exists that means you already used that so you make sure you uh, make multiple ones um, so once you do that you're gonna get, be granted with this page um, so as you can see um, we can change our uh, user our IP address, we're just gonna do gaming legend, um, our dot and a nose dot me. You can change that, but uh, I think I would r highly suggest uh, that you uh, keep it this way unless you have a really good p IP address. Because whatever IP address you do, you'll probably already you probably already did, like, or anyone else has done it, okay. Because a lot of people want uh, like this. So as you can see, we have vanilla 1.10.2. And it says offline and whatnot. And now if we go down here, you're going to see we can click plugins. And you can see you have craft bucket or spigot. 
And um, usually I do crap bucket because it just uh, I just think it sounds cool. So let's just say we do 1.10 because that's basically one in there. It's just gonna put push install, and then if you go back up here to the top, it'll say crap bucket 1.10. And now you're gonna see all of these. You can actually do mod packs. Um, you can do mods like lucky blocks, build craft, and custom NPTs, even Minecraft uh, PE. Um, anyway, um, here's a little a quick tip. Um, Artinos can actually be connected with PE. What? Yes, you can actually play your server on PE. Yes, yes. But maybe you should put it like on 1.8 or something because, um, a, a, not a lot of 1.9 features are added into the PE edition, so I highly suggest that. Um, but anyway, yeah, download, so if you have, like, um, or new and upload, so if you have, um, well, if you already have a world and you want to put that into your server, you just click a new, and then you, it has to be a zip file, okay? It has to be a zip file, and, um, I'll show you that in the next episode, um, if we if we get this up to a, a lot of likes and then you're gonna click this and as you can see it'll uh, it'll pop up the um a thing here up here and we don't need to worry about that but anyway you can click that and then you can find your file and then upload it but remember it has to be a zip file it can't be a raw it can't be anything else it has to be a zip file okay and it says uploading may take a while i i, I suggest that um, also, there's ger generate worlds. So if you don't like the world that you have now and you want to try another one, you can just do that. Okay, and then you can do. Then of down here is where it gets easy. Okay, you can do. Uh, this is motto of the day, which is actually like. So let's say, hello, welcome to my server, and you can just do that. So you can type in anything like. Um, a new uh, I have egg wars or I knew I have anything and then over here's the slots and you can do this to up to like 1,000 okay okay look at this look at this and then it actually sets to <laughs> what how what kind of number is that this is like a trillion so you could do it forever but um it won't go forever it'll just go for a long time okay so let's see how many uh, times it'll get us to so what okay so um it just goes that far so you can do how many players you want so if you if you um want to do that and whatnot also there's whitelist so if there's a lot of people that you don't know and you just want to uh, exit them if you just want to do whitelist and then down here will be the light whitelist so if you have anyone that you want to join the server and it's whitelisted that which means when they join uh it'll just kick them automatically um, you'll just go to go down here, and then you'll you'll type in their username, and that way they can join into the game. And then there's OPs, which you probably know what this means, but if you uh, if you are uh, aware, if you don't, um, it's basically if you want if you are, want to be the manager or or the server, and you want to be creative and whatnot and all that. OP is the p is the person who actually runs the server. Okay, it's the owner of the server. I mean, you can OP anyone else, but if you're the one that runs the server, you're the uh, owner. So, we can have online mode. If you do cracked, it'll set the false. Um, and we can do that. And then you can change a game mode. So what happens is, is that if a new person joins, um, they'll be uh, they'll be automatically switched to a game mode. I highly suggest uh, adventure mode because you don't want them breaking anything uh, around your server or on that. Um, so I highly suggest adventure mode because you can't really break anything with adventure mode, um, because I don't know why it, it, it's just weird. Which which adventure is great for adventure maps if you're trying to make one. And then we have difficulty. We could do peaceful, which has no mobs, easy, um, normal, and hard, everything else. And we could do PvP. No, I said highly suggest you do no because that means when they spawn, they can actually PvP each other. I mean, they can still PvP if you put like a mini game in or whatnot, but you can like still there there will be like that. And then you're gonna do command blocks. Now command blocks, I'll obviously you know if you want to do a command, uh, you're just going to do e. Able, everyone wants to do that, and then fly, which means um, the 
the la the person who joins with that is new that can fly around the server. Now, I highly suggest you put it on disable so you don't so they don't fly around the server because you want it to be secret. So like like if you want to be a secret server or whatnot. And then we have animals. You could disable them or and yes, disable them. And watch this. This is cool. So once you dis uh um disable the monster um option here. Um, even if you put it to easy, it'll still be disabled. What? Yeah. So you can disable them. So no. Uh, so if you do it to disable, there'll be no animals. And if you do it to dis disable on monster, it'll be no. So what? Uh, so okay, let's just do it to 34 just for now, um, because there's no one actually gonna play on the mass server. Alright guys, I think that just about does it for today's video, I know, but this is the first episode of of how to create your very own server with Arts and O's. If you guys did enjoy today's video, then make sure you leave a like, and also next video, um, it will be out soon if you guys want to know. Um, you can always follow me on Instagram and Google Plus so you guys can get the latest info, probably if you can't get the latest info but anyway guys that just about does it so i i hope this uh tutorial helped you just a little bit i'll be doing this um this series more often so make sure you stay tuned for this series so thanks guys so much for watching and i'll see i'll see you guys again soon and remember more to likes more avengers lex on keep up minecrafting have a wonderful day lex on